Hello friends, this video on neat ecology is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. This uh, Beijing protocol also had the same agenda to reduce the emission of ozone depleting substances. So see, we spoke about quite a few initiatives which were taken by various organizations, some to reduce, to protect the ozone layer, some to pr protect uh, the earth from global warming. So different initiatives were taken and many nations, many countries had supported the initiative. And I think you know, we still really need to take enough care of the environment if we really want to have a happier and healthier future. Question number one, a biologist studied the population of rats in a barn. He studied that average natality was 250 and average mortality 240, immigration 20 and emigration 30. The net increase in population is, okay. So first of all, so here we have four things, natality, mortality, immigration and emigration. So let us say that if this is a population that we are talking about. So what are the parameters which will add to the population, which will make an increase to the population? Natality will make increase to the population. What is natality? Natality is nothing but more birth or the birth rate that is natality. So natality would cause an increase in the population. What else will cause an increase in the population? Mortality is death rate. So mortality would cause a decrease in the population. What about immigration and emigration? Immigration means people who are migrating from other places to this population. So that means these people are entering into the population. So obviously immigration would also add to the population. Whereas emigration means people moving out of this population. So emigration means people are going out. So that is subtracting, getting subtracted from the population, right? So now you have to find out the net increase in population. So first let us understand what was added to the population. So the net addition to the population was what? Natality plus immigration, right? So whatever new births took place plus whatever number of people immigrated. So that would be the total number of people which added to the population or that would be the total increase in population. So this is 250 plus 20 which is equal to 270 so 270 is the increase in population but at the same time there was a decrease in population also and this decrease was because of the mortality and emigration so what what will get subtracted from the population mortality plus emigration so mortality here is 240 and emigration is 30 which is equal to 270 so basically what we see so let's say that if initially the population was x 270 was added to the population and then 270 was subtracted from the population. So what does that mean? The net increase in population is zero. There is no net increase. If the population increased by 270, the population also decreased by 270. So the net increase is zero. So D would be the correct option. Question number two, a sedentary sea anemone gets attached to the shell lining of hermit crab. Okay, this association is ectoparatism, symbiosis, commensalism or amensalism. So in this case, the right option would be commensalism. Why? Because in this case, if you look at the, this, this type of this, exactly this relationship is considered to be commensalism by some, mutualism by some and proto-cooperation by some. So there are different views on this particular relationship. Now let us try to understand the relationship from our point of view. Now what is who what is a sedentary sea anemone? So sedentary means something which is not movable. So something which stays at one place or immobile. So an immobile sea anemone attaches itself to the shell lining of hermit crab. Now hermit crab is free swimming. So it, it can move from one place to another but sedentary sea anemone remains at one place. Now when it attaches itself to the shell lining of the crab, what happens? The sea anemone actually gets a portable home. 
so that is the benefit for the sea anemone that it is it gets a portable home and how does a portable home helps now when it has a portable home it becomes easier for the sea anemone to find more food because now it can move from one place to another and can search for more food so it basically gets a moving home or a portable home so that's the benefit of sea anemone now let us talk about the hermit crab now for the hermit crab from the hermit crab's perspective it may get some protection due to the stinging cells of the sea anemone but we are not very sure what kind of benefit the hermit crab would get but yes we can say that it might get some benefit due to the stinging cells of the sea anemone so in this relationship what do we see we see that the sea anemone is surely getting benefited but the hermit crab may or may not get benefited so this as per us is an example of commensalism now anyways here in the options also we do not have an option of proto cooperation so that that will not be considered so out of the options which are given here we can consider commensalism as the best option so how do we define as per the definition of commensalism we say that it is a relationship between organisms such that one is benefited so that benefited organism here is the sea anemone while the other is unaffected except to a negligible extent for example here the hermit crab is almost unaffected maybe we can say that it might get some protection due to the stinging cells of animal so that would be just a negligible benefit which the hermit crab might be getting so that ways we can say that commensalism would be the the association between the sea anemone and the hermit crab question number 3 what type of population is represented by the following age pyramid so if you look at this age pyramid what do you see you see that you have more people in the older age groups when compared to the younger age groups like if, if this is the reproductive age group right so in reproductive age group you have more people but what about the younger age groups so these are this represent the younger age groups the pre reproductive phase so you have lesser number of people in the younger age group compared to that you have more number of people in the older age group like if even if you look at these blocks the post reproductive blocks you have quite a good number of people when compared to the younger age groups so this would be an example of a declining population so what is declining population that type of population where you have lesser number of younger people when compared to older people so when you have more old people compared to the younger age groups so that's a declining population question number 4 consider the following four conditions and select a pair a collect pair of them as adaptation to environment in desert lizards conditions burrowing in soil to escape high temperature now what do you think about the desert lizards now the lizards staying in deserts in deserts the temperatures are quite extremes like you have very it's very hot during the day it's very cold at night so obviously if the lizard can burrow inside the soil and it lives inside the soil so it can escape from the high temperature so yes the first condition sounds to be a, a good adaptation for the desert lizards losing heat rapidly from the body during high temperature well uh, that doesn't really happen that the lizard loses out heat from the body so that doesn't happen in case of lizards bask in sun when temperature is low now as we know that the temperatures are generally extreme in case of deserts so these lizards they enjoy sun and absorb heat when their body temperature drops below the comfort zone some of them can even burrow into the soil to escape the heat so like they have these two adaptations for heat so when there is a lot of uh, the, when the temperature inside their body is very low and outside it's sunny so it kind of absorbs the heat so that you know they can uh, stabilize their body temperature insulating body due to thick fatty dermis so insulating body anyways will not help in this situation so the correct option would be option b that is 1 and 3 are uh, represent the correct pair of adaptation thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you